For Comedy Hype News, I'm Magic Wand. During the 1990s, several networks benefited from the popularity of shows based around friends that would grow together. Fox jumped on the network with Martin and Living Single as NBC followed suit with the ever-popular sitcom Friends. In the year 1993, ABC decided this move would be useful as they premiered the coming-of-age sitcom Boy Meets World on September 24th. Boasting seven seasons of adventure beginning with the main character, Corey, as a sixth grader coincidentally living next door to his teacher, Mr. Feeney, to graduate college and moving from Philadelphia to New York City alongside his wife upon the conclusion of the show. The time on air for the show truly coincided with the matriculation of his fans going through the same thing simultaneously. In season five, a character named Angela would appear and become the love interest of Corey's best friend, Sean, appearing in the permanent role until the show ended. Fans of the show, however, noticed that Angela, played by Trina McGee, was noticeable absent from the show's finale, despite her becoming a fixture to the plot for the final three seasons. Rumors had circulated for years about exactly why she left the show, with many wondering if it had something to do with race. Angela was one of the few black characters that have ever appeared on the show and even more surprisingly became a regular. With little revealed about this upon the show's ending of May of 2000, the question deserves to be explored deeper of why Trina McGee quit Boy Meets World. As mentioned, the show would be wildly popular, having seven seasons under its belt with each growing in viewership until it essentially leveled out in the final season. The character of Angela would come about as Corey, Topanga, and Sean finally enter college with Corey's other brother. Angela was a friend to Topanga that was introduced to the group and for Sean, who was notoriously had issues with trust and not the best luck with relationships throughout the show, Angela was the opposite clicking with him almost immediately. As the relationship grew, it became apparent that she would be more than simply a recruiting character for the fifth season. Much like past seasons, season six and seven saw Angela now joining on the adventures as the crew from middle school would navigate through the number of events in college. An appearance on the rewatch podcast Pod Meets World offered up one possible reason for her departure with McGee stating, I was told in kind of a weird off-handed way by a very important person that you guys all went to showrunner, Michael Jacobs, and you said, we don't want her in the last episode. She's somehow taking our light. That was the gist of it. This theory was debunked by actor Will Freddy, who played Eric on the show, and told McGee that this was not the case as either himself or any other cast members had went to the showrunner to specifically ask for her to be excluded. But leaving Will, McGay forgave him and stated that this was simply what she's been told over 20 years ago with family members not helping much as they bought into the idea. Having Angela instead appear in the penultimate episode of the series titled Angela's Ashes led the actress to believe that she would be appearing in a spinoff of the show much to her delight at the time. It is no secret that the actual finale of any series is the one equipped with the highest ratings and holds the memories as fans revisit the episode as often as they can. If not, the entire last season is looking to see if they could have missed anything upon first watch. Again, family for Trina McGee was not helpful as she admitted via the podcast that they insinuated that this would not have happened. While ultimately, McGee did state that she believed Will and the other castmates that they were not responsible for her being removed from the finale of the show, there were signs that racism came into play before the finale that led McGee to feel that this was true for many years. Danielle Fiscal, who played Topanga, admitted that she felt a rivalry between herself and McGee to an extent created by the showrunner, but that this never made her not want McGee on the show and any claim saying otherwise was false. In the same podcast sit down, the actress stated, I remember when I was doing Angela's Ashes episode, somehow my black meter had slipped up and I was at about a nine. Michael came over to me and his notes was, hey Trina, just turn down to tell Hopkins about eight notches, he said noting that the producer was referring to Black Family Matters actress. I knew exactly what he was talking about, and I did. There are so many things you guys are so lucky you didn't have to think about. Not only was the reference to Family Matters one that put race at the forefront, McGee later admitted how she felt that it was unnecessary way to ask her to tone down, as she was told to just be herself and was doing just that. Will Freddy around the same time spoke about the fact that each of the castmates would joke with one another, and on that one particular day, her red hair scarf became the butt of the joke that would end up being more detrimental than he intended. As McGee left her dressing room wearing a scarf, Will casually told her that he loved her pancakes, a clear reference to the actress resembling Aunt Jemima at the time. 
While Will felt that he had made a joke like any other day that was funny, McGee was not fond of it and it only helped further push the idea in her head that she was not liked by castmates despite a later apology. She would go on briefly explaining the racist history behind the name, the woman, and the fact that this joke was taking things too far. Clearly ignorant to what had happened, Will Freddy would question how this was any different than McGee referring to him as the Jolly Green Giant, to which she explained leaving him feeling, as he described it, very small. Again, the two hashed out the situation having hugged after the exchange showing no hard feelings and the actor admitted that this was the turning point in his career where he realized the power of words and just how careful one needs to be regarding of their intentions. Another theory that fans can link to Angela's absence was that the series did not address the fact that an interracial relationship between her character and Sean was going on. Following the conclusion of the show, McGee spoke about an op-ed for the Daily News on the topic even going so far as to having her husband write the piece published under her byline stating, I was very confused at the time whether to talk about it or not. I had two realms of thinking, my job and mankind, she said. It wasn't totally my organic view. Funny enough, a rebuttal was written to the Daily News by Lorraine Toussaint who said, no, you must acknowledge that these are two different races getting together. If I had to do it over again and could take my real stance, hindsight and everything, I would have wrote the opposite article. While the showrunner Michael Jacobs would continue to have his count of absence of the Trina McGee in the finale, blaming other castmates, it is clear that perhaps race was more so his reasoning for the admission. From McGee being told to tone down her act from a 9 to a 2 on the black meter scale all the way to eventually confusion set forth by the showrunner causing controversy. Between the cast, one can see that being too black was just something the show did not want part of his legacy. We never did get a chance to see Angela in a spinoff show of her own. Ultimately, Michael Jacobs needs to be interviewed for even more clarity somewhere down the line. But one thing for sure is that Angela made a mark on the show was important for Sean's character's development, a great friend to Topanga, and overall added an element of the real world that some may say didn't exist before the show, diversity. Much to the delight of fans, Angela would make a final appearance in a cameo of the spinoff Girl Meets World, season two, episode eight, titled Girl Meets Hurricane, sees Angela arrives to the shock of Corey and Sean who now have children of their own and are married. Angela admits that she too is married and has been for nearly 20 years. Overall, the consensus on exactly why McGee left the show ultimately comes down to whichever theory you choose to go with. Some things that are not debatable are that she again adds diversity to the show, was an integral part of the final season, and many fans were confused as to why she would not be part of the final season after this. Additionally, McGee's cameo on Girl Meets World does provide some closure to give more insight into what the audience should be set to believe and how the journey came full circle. From lovers to friends encouraging one another to love others, Sean and Angela were immortalized as being part of each other despite the abrupt leaving of Angela and her declining to be with Sean upon any Boy Meets World. From the racist off-camera jokes to interracial dating and even potential castmate beef, all being possibly part of history of the show just adds more interesting elements to debate among friends, as there may be more cast members years down the line offering up another reason for her departure altogether. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel, follow Comedy Hype across all social media platforms, and look out for original content on our new streaming service at ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Magic Wand.